Do you see this engagement? Huh? This growth? Well, this is not mine. But I know how you can grow on Instagram in 2021 and I'm gonna give you 5 tips in this video. Also, you might have this question too. Does follow for follow still work? Well, I'm gonna answer this question too. Before we move on to the tips, I want to talk about the question Does follow for follow still work in 2021? Well, yes and no. I mean, if you start an Instagram page from scratch and you have zero followers, you won't have any engagement. So let's say I have a YouTube channel and I never created an Instagram page before and I live in a cave. I can promote my Instagram page on my YouTube channel, so get the ball rolling. You know what I mean? But if you don't have any audience, you need to start from somewhere, right? So you can do follow for follow in the beginning just to get a couple of thousand of followers, like 2,000 or 3,000 followers, and then you won't need it. And try to do it as much as organically you can so you don't ruin your engagement. Now let's get started with the tips. So tip number one, selecting your topic slash niche. Ooh, hold up, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute! Don't click away. I know that you're sick of hearing this, but mate, you can't post everything on your Instagram page. Just think about yourself. Let's say you're following a travel page and then suddenly on your homepage you see a beauty post from that page. Hmm. Would you like that? To grow on Instagram, you need to know what you're doing. You need to know your topic and have knowledge. Knowledge! Knowledge! About the topic that you choose. And you need to have a specific audience. And provide valuable content. Quality content. Always quality over quantity. So quality. And that brings me to the tip number two, continuity and consistency. So what do I mean with that? I mean to grow on Instagram, you need to have a schedule. You can't post on Instagram once in two weeks. I mean, of course you can, but you will grow much, much, much slower. So what I suggest is to post on Instagram every single day. And if you can't every day, at least three to five times a week. And don't post just to post. Like I said, always quality over quantity. You need to provide value. So don't post just to post and also don't forget to use the other tools of instagram like instagram reels igtv stories lives stories is one of the ways that people will get to know you i mean you can post on stories every single day even five times a day and when someone comes to your profile gets to your profile will see the line around your profile picture and will be like oh let's see who he is and what he's doing oh let's see who he is and what he's doing <laughs> So on your stories, you can use Instagram features like polls, questions, and you can make Q&As. And when someone watches your Q&A stories, will be like, oh, so he's a YouTuber. Oh, he's funny. Whoa, I didn't know that. Good to know. Oh, so he's a YouTuber. <laughs> he's funny. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't know that. Good to know. And that can be a reason for him or her to follow you. By the way, don't ignore Instagram Reels. If you want to grow, you're going to use that Reels. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Every day. Oh, oh, shit. What I'm trying to say is Instagram Reels are so powerful. Do you know TikTok? <laughs> of course you don't. Instagram Reels are the same. So that means that people will see your content on Instagram Reels even if they don't follow you and even if they haven't even seen you before in their lives. You might have 10,000 followers but your Instagram Reels content can blow up and get millions of views and new followers. But you know, that can be a one-time thing. So to grow consistent, you need to have a great engagement, which that brings me to tip number three. Tip number three. Engagement. Engagement, we can say that is one of the most important things on Instagram. Basically, the main thing here is us. Social media platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, they focus on our interests. I mean, if there is a content with low engagement, Instagram says, well, people are not interested in that. Let's find a content that people are interested. Well, people are not interested in that. Let's find another content that people are interested. Now, I said, I don't want any of you to leave my platform. Well, they don't say that, but I mean, yeah. By the way, when I say engagement, I don't only mean likes, but I mean likes, comments, shares, and saves. And every each of them has a the power. I mean, likes is the most ineffective ones because, I mean, likes is the easiest one, like one second and you like the post. And it doesn't tell that much on Instagram if you're interested in that or not. But when you save a post or share it and send it to someone else, you show to the Instagram that you're interested on that post, on that content, and you save it so you can come back later again. If we need to make a list from the most powerful to the powerless, we could add on the top of the list shares and saves, and one below of that comments, and the most ineffective one is likes. I mean, of course, likes are still a sign of engagement, but like I said, the most ineffective one. Tip number four, 
setting up your profile. I know that it sounds cliche, but that's how it works. Just think about yourself. When you find a new page, a page that you saw for the first time, do you follow immediately or you look for information? For, I mean, do you check their content? Do you check what they do? Personally, I do. I check what they're posting, what their content, their quality, what they're doing. Like I said, like if you have a personal account and you want to grow that, set your profile picture, add a profile picture so they can get information just from your profile picture. Like they can get the information of how you look like, how old are you, pretty much, if you're male or female. Then write on your bio what you do, why you do. Give them some information, give them reason to follow you. And also use the highlights. I mean, you might have been sick or happened something and you weren't able to post stories that day. At least thanks to the highlights, people that will come to your profile can get the information and can see what you posted in the past. You can even make a section for the followers that come for the first time. You know, you can talk about yourself, you can give some information and add that on highlights so people will see that even months after. Tip number five, captions and retention. Do you use the captions? Or you're like, partying with the boys, champagne emoji, champagne emoji, champagne emoji. Huh? Do you remember the tip number three that we talked about engagement? Well, there's more than that. Instagram also looks on how much time we spent on that specific content that can be a photo or a video. So when you write something on your post on your captions, people stop to read that and spend time on your content. So don't skip the captions, write something. You might have seen content creators that writes their articles, hundreds of words, so use that. By the way, I said that Instagram looks on how much time we spend on that specific content. So that means that videos are more important for Instagram rather than photos. Well, <laughs> everyone can understand that. I mean, just step back and take a look. TikTok, video based. YouTube, video based. And then Instagram creates IGTV and Instagram Reels. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, nowadays watch time is one of the most important things. And by watch time, I mean retention and how much time spent people on our posts, on our content. So what you need to do is to keep your audience and don't give them the urge to leave. I mean, of course, in the end they will leave, but just keep them as long as you can. The longer you keep people on your content, the most likely the algorithm boosts you. So use captions, post more video content and keep your audience on your content. By the way, I also want to add something on that video content thing. So what do I mean with posting more video content and why do I mean that? I mean, why? So for example, let's say someone's scrolling on his Instagram feed and sees a photo. So he spends like 10 seconds or 20, okay, third the most. So what's going on on the photo? I mean, if there's people who they are and what they're doing and th like that. And that wouldn't take that much of time you know, he would continue to scroll. But let's say you posted a one minute video. If he doesn't get bored from that video and watch the whole video, he would spend one minute on that content. And let's say he reads the captions too. So their attention on video content is way more than a photo content. So that's why I'm telling you to post more video content because it's most likely for someone to spend more time on a video content than photo content. And I'm not gonna lie, but how I think is that Instagram future is most likely video based platform that's how it goes i mean <laughs> that's what i think you know holding that microphone it feels kind of professional hey sorry for that so that was it in this video in this video i gave you five tips on how to grow on instagram in 2021 i hope you liked the video and it was useful for you if you enjoyed the video i would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and like the video see you in the next videos bye